In today's episode, you will learn how to make and repair any type of lead acid battery using new and old positive and ground plates. I will also explain what are the necessary tools and how to use them. I will also explain how to make the battery internal and external terminals. I will also explain in detail how to internally connect the positive and ground plates. In the end, I will also explain how to prepare electrolyte for the battery using sulfuric acid. The process of making the electrolyte can be really dangerous for the beginners. So I highly recommend purchase the ready-made electrolyte for the battery or make the electrolyte at your own risk. This video is sponsored by NextPCB. Currently, NextPCB is offering a free trial offer of 10 of their PCBs for free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. They also offer PCB assembly services only for $7 with 24 hours build time and shipping that can get you your PCBs in just a few days. For more information, click on the first link in the description. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to make a complete new battery and you will also be able to repair any type of small and large lead acid batteries. This way you can save a lot of money and you can also start your own business. Without any further delay, let's get started. The Amazon purchase links of all the materials and tools used in this video are given in the description. You will need these metal dies for making the positive and ground plates terminals. This metal die is used for making the main internal 12 volt and ground terminals which are connected with the battery external 12 volt and ground terminals. This metal die is used for connecting the positive plates and ground plates and is also used for making the terminals to make the series connections. So these two are the most important tools that you should have. These two metal dies are used for making the battery external 12 volt and ground terminals. These are available in different diameters. Purchase the one as per your requirement. This is a 12 volt welding tool and is used for connecting the battery cells in series. This uses the graphite carbon rods. This is the battery hydrometer. You will need this hydrometer for preparing the electrolyte for the battery. This is used for measuring the density of the electrolyte, which is achieved by measuring the specific gravity of the electrolyte. Some other tools for the lead melting and for opening and closing the battery cover. This is a completely dead lead acid battery that we are going to repair. This sill as you can see is completely damaged so we will make another one using new positive plates and some old ground plates from the other battery. In this sill the positive plates are damaged while the ground plates are in good condition. So we can reuse these ground plates. Carefully remove 
the positive plates and leave the ground plates. For maximum dead lead acid batteries you can salvage many ground plates. This is totally up to you whether you want to reuse the old ground plates or you want to use new ground plates. We removed the positive plates from all the cells. As you can see maximum of the ground plates can be reused. I didn't even find a single positive plate in a good condition so I will have to use new positive plates. This one has one ground plate which is completely damaged so we will have to make this again. Carefully cut the ground plates which are in good condition. These are the ground plates I salvaged from another dead lead as a battery. You can also use new ground plates to make a completely new battery cell by following the process that I'm going to explain in a minute. I purchased a total of 64 positive plates. Each plate cost me around $0.3. These master plates are considered to be the best plates. You can also find low cost plates but my recommendation is go for the best plates. Use these white color insulator or separator sheets to cover the positive plates. There will be no physical contact between the positive and ground plates. Now we will connect all these positive plates using the metal die. Clean the plates with the sandpaper. Now we will make terminals for the ground plates. All the ground plates are ready. These are all the positive plates and these are all the negative plates. We have a total of 21 plates in each cell. 10 positive plates and 11 negative plates. The external plates are the ground plates. The positive plates are sandwiched between the ground plates. So make sure the external plates are the ground plates.
Using the same method, we made terminals for all the positive and ground plates. Finally, we started by placing the sills inside the battery container. This is the positive 12 side and this is the ground. This is the positive, this is the ground. This is the positive, this is the ground. Positive and ground. Positive, ground. Positive and ground. Now we are going to weld all these cells in series. We will also fix these. So now we are about to start the welding using a 12 volt battery. The carbon side is connected with the 12 volt of the battery while the ground of the battery is connected with the area where we want to perform the welding. As you can see we are done with the welding job. All the cells are connected in series. Now we will use this metal die for making the external battery terminals. Aid water to the sulfuric acid. Be very careful while making the electrolyte for the battery after adding the water. Wait at least 30 minutes so that the electrolyte can get cool. Finally, you can use the hydrometer. If you want to know more about the hydrometer, read my article. You can find a link in the description. While no electrolyte is added, you can see the voltage is around 0.5 volts. You can see an increase in the voltage. We continued filling the remaining chambers to the desired levels. Finally, it was time to charge the battery, so we connected the inverter 12 volt and ground wires with the battery terminals and waited for around 3 hours. You can see the battery voltage and still the battery is charging. The voltage is just like the new battery, very close to the 14 volts. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.